so excited. The Stokey Trip Trap high chair just arrived today and just delivered. I'm so excited. At first, I was really worried. I bought it from this, it's like a secondhand, hmm, I don't know, retail shop. But this one was open box and it was really highly discounted. Well, it's still very expensive, but highly discounted for this kind of high chair because it just doesn't really go on sale. But anyway, it finally arrived. I thought I was being scammed. I wasn't sure if this was ever gonna arrive. And then I got a tracking code. Apparently they have got a warehouse and I'm just gonna have you see me set this up. My baby is asleep right now, so I've got Oh, rapido, rapido. We just gotta, you know, set this up. And, and also, hopefully I can get it set up in time for us to watch, I mean, him eat for dinner tonight. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, you saw my neck right there, but it's okay. Neck, decollete, it's great. Let me show you, oh, hang on a second. I need, very important, very important to have this. I also may potentially need scissors. The two items that I need here, is uh, uh, a what a, why am I showing you this? Obviously you have tools to open your box. I've also got to put some gloves on because you know, well, I don't know, this bad boy, they said open box, but still great quality inside, but the box on the outside looks ratchet, like it's been through hell. I'm sorry, this is like mom of 10. They went over and above. I'm hoping the inside will survive whatever its journey entailed. So let me just, Put on some gloves. I'm so sorry. This is a very chaotic video because, again, my baby's gonna wake up any minute now. Any minute. He's been sleeping for an hour and 20 minutes. If you know, if you know, that's already like really good quality sleep. However, that also means that any minute. Well, it sounds like there's a few loose screws. Like, you know, I don't know, elderly. Just, I'm done with, you see that? Like, I'm done with life. This, uh, Elderly person has some incredible stories from World War. I don't know. Like, I can't wait to visit them. What am I talking about? Here we go. Let's just open this up. Oh, God. <laughs> Woo. Yep. Hopefully, everything is intact. Cue some amazing ethereal music. First up, we have got this. Stokey. 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 We're going to call it Stokey. Everything you see here can be bought a la carte. They are all sewed separately, or if you want to buy them, they come in complete. Meaning that it's the tray, it's the cushion, it's the high chair. I bought the complete version because I just want to be able to have the full experience. This is the, this is the, this is the jingle bells, this is the Christmas tree, this is the ornaments. Everything is inside here. All right, let's see. Definitely a little bit open. Someone tried to stuff everything back. Kind of like me when I return my Amazon packages and they don't fit. It's just like whatever. You just gotta make it fit. Ah, stuff it. So someone tried to return this bad boy and they couldn't. So they sold it to this secondhand shop. And now I've got. Ah! Hello. It said it was white, but it is this dark, beautiful, chocolatey material. How do I feel about that? I mean, it matches my home. So, a little bit confused because the picture showed that this was white. I was a little iffy about that, because, but it was on sale. And so I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna be very thorough when I clean after he's done eating. Um, oh, a little bit scratched up. I don't know. I don't know. I think the, the loose screws up in here, like these kind of jammies, have been playing some drums and uh, messing up. Okay, but still really amazing. This is the first experience I've had with this company. It was just kind of like a fingers crossed, let's go. This is so expensive. I found it for such a great deal. Let's just go. Um, they said that they do evaluate and kind of like do a thorough examination of all the products that are sold to their company before they sell it to consumers, me. And so I'm just surprised that whoever in the company or maybe their warehouse, maybe they're working with a secondhand company, whoever put everything into this box did not do a very good job of putting everything into this box. In fact, it's scratched up. So that's the only part that I see. Oh, nope, nope, this part as well. Ooh, okay. It's got a little bit of little bumps right here. And they did say that they protect all of their products. In any way, the quality does not match what they say. They will allow returns and exchanges, so that's really great. This is really crazy because in this box, they just have, like, someone did not 
even try to put these screws, very important screws by the way, they're, there's only a few, I'm sure, I've never put this high chair together, but I'm sure there's only a few screws that are essential to the built and the construction of this high chair. And they didn't take the time to put this into, what, just a Ziploc bag. Um, if I lose a screw, what do I do? You, you can't construct and put this together anymore. So I'm gonna show you, it just looks like this. Right here. Somebody was like, yo, I took the pictures of this product, put it on the website, and here we go, good bomb. So I'm gonna buy it, and I don't know, I'm just gonna sprinkle the screws all over this box. Whoever buys it, good luck. And then, here we are, we've got just, Screws all over the box, all over the floor, all over the place. The video is all over the place, just like this box of tools. <sighs> Gonna just, you know, keep my opinions reserved for the final outcome. At least there's like even numbers of screws. That's a good, that's a good, 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 good uh, indicator. We've got the Trip Trap classic cushion. This goes on the baby's seat. Apparently a lot of people don't really even use this because the baby just, um, makes it dirty and they've got to wash it and it's slippery, I don't know, whatever. I want to try it. This is the baby set. This helps the chair from not tipping over. So you install it in the back. I'm just scared because this was open down here. There's a big ginormous hole. I've got a bunch of loose screws. I just got to make sure that there is no screws up in here that is still loose. Oh, yep, yeah, there is, see? Two screws popped out of there. Oh, oh, I got two more things that popped out. What the heck? Oh. Hello? Oh, oh, now we've got uneven, uneven equipment. I am very alarmed. Oh, here we go. All right, I found the other one. Ha. And then just all of these like wooden particles that I've got to now assemble like a skeleton. Let's go. Matt, just protect my floors. Let's. To build this high chair. I flipped it backwards because it's just easier for me to use this tool to screw in the the screw right here. Zippity doo day, zippity day, whoop doo doo da, and I'm all done. And they are held in place simply by this little screw right here. So far, very easy for me to do it all by myself. There is a little bit of space, spacing, meaning that it doesn't fit flush, but when I screw it in, it's just gonna pull the wood together. Pulled it together. This is the seating part. And because this part is a little bit scratched up right here, I am gonna flip it over and use this part. You just wanna make sure the part with the little hole goes on this side of here. I kept these wooden parts over here unscrewed. So had I screwed them tight, that is really what holds this in place. So I'm gonna push this in a little bit further. Super easy to install. They look like this. You just take the ends and snap them in place. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is coming together. I am so excited. My husband's gonna get the baby and then we're gonna fit him on. Perfect timing. Hello, welcome back from Sleepy Land. I love you so much. Look at this new chair for Look me. Look at your new chair. Oh my gosh, this looks like a jungle gym. I don't know how I'm gonna, every time I feed him, get this over him. I've heard some parents just take this off completely because they don't wanna have to struggle with the strap. I was wondering how far this needs to go, but it really does it for you because once you put in the baby set, the little hoister here, this part will connect to the bottom and it will automatically kind of have it as a place that it's supposed to be at. Here's Kairos. Yay! <laughs> so this part is the tray. This is a honeycomb design that everybody really hates, but they just say that usually you don't really get food on this part because he's eating on here. So if I want to release it, I go down here and click it. He could be you. Hey, 
Mommy. Oh my god. Break my nails doing this. It's a little bit hard to press. I don't know if it's like over time it'll become easier with some wear. Uh, you're looking at the trip trap and you're comparing this to the Abbey Beyond. This was the main difference and the reason why I decided to get the trip trap because this bottom part can come out wider and um, the Beyond, um, when I was looking at reviews, it's kind of like this. It only goes this far. So when the child is sitting, their feet is on the tips of the, the foot support. So it doesn't help very much. Oh my God, you should want to get it off. Hey, oh no, here we go. And they're like, ain't nobody, ain't no child falling off this chair. We're gonna make it. Maybe. Proof. Hello, today is the next day. I've got the chair all assembled. Everything is great. It's right here. And my thoughts on this. This is what the high chair looks like. Let's get the straps in here. And here's the baby cushion protector. The little seat, the foot panel. They did get the color wrong. This is a walnut color compared to the color that was white. That was what was shown in the original listing. And also, um, it just came with a few dings. I think had they took time to really package this well, probably would not have those scratches. So just keep that in mind. But I actually, ironically, love this color. This matched my dining table. I'm doing this like awkward squat so I can fit into the frame. This was a great surprise. So I would have kept this, but the caveat, and uh, this is why it is so important to be able to test out the baby products in person. So the part that I don't like is the tray. I fit my baby into this chair and he fit great. I know, I'm so sorry if this squat stresses you out. His foot fit really well on this board. And as I've said, I was deciding between this one, the the Stokey Trip Trap versus the Abbey Beyond. And I had decided on this one because the Beyond, this footrest doesn't go as far. Now, let's talk about the tray. It is really difficult to take off. There's a lever down here and you do as you press it and then you take it off. It's just not smooth. And for such a high ticketed item, I wanna make sure that it's butter. It is just spreading butter. It is not spreading butter. I've, it's like spreading chunky butter. I, uh, see, I, I'm not even exaggerating because let me show you my current high chair. This is my current high chair. This is the trip trap. So look at this, okay? I do this, there's a, there's just a lever down here. I do this, I take this off. One handed, just clicks in place. I don't have to do anything. And so far, baby has not been able to throw this tray off. It's in there, it's secured. So I like that I don't have to tip it. There's food on here and sometimes I just wanna get him out. He's fighting, he wants to get out right away. So I go like this. It will pour all the food on him. Instead, I just go like this, I balance it, and I put it away. So I don't like the high chairs that you've got to tip. And this so happens to be a tippy 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 high chair tray. Look, I can't do this number. I can't pull it out. I've got to do this and click it back in place. So if there's food on here, he's trying to get out. Most likely, because that's just the way this is built, I'm gonna carry him up and over and take him out. If I'm trying to just get things cleaned up, I can't, oh my God, oh my God. See, it, it is, it is, it's a little hiccupy. Some people are like, I don't know why you're being so nitpicky about this and that is the least of our worries. Great, please buy this high chair. It is incredible value really will grow through the years. Everything about it, the built, the quality, the way that it is structured to be very ergonomic on the child, everything is fantastic. That is why I did purchase this. It just doesn't fit with my day to day. I'm gonna have my child in this high chair three times a day. And if I have to struggle with the tray three times a day, that's just not gonna work out because 
Also my dining room table, ugh. It is like a bar table. All of my chairs are bar stool height. And so this is like a high chair. This is a low chair. It is meant to be seated at the table. Another thing that you might wanna keep in mind when you're picking up high chairs that I realized is something that I am particularly mm, picky about. So you see this high chair. This is a great high chair, by the way. The only thing it doesn't have is this foot rest, which I put cardboard here and may do with this, but I like that it is open. There's no caging right here. I can just take him in and out, and then he's in. Whereas here, I have to continue to take him in and out like this, instead of just out and over and out. <laughs> if you have a child, and you know what I'm talking about, please leave it in the description below because I can't be the other one that is picky about these tiny little things that really does make my life as a mom so much more in flow is the best way to describe it. When I put them in, I wanna just go like this. Bam, and here's your food, ready to go. Um, this one, I have to go, oh, let me fit you in, let's get you a little foot in these little panels. And then I buckle you in, and then, ah, oh, now I gotta get you out. Let's take this tray off. And then, ah, oh, let me take you out. And then his knees are gonna kinda like get trapped against here, bang up against here, I don't know. I just, not really what I'm looking for. So I am gonna return this. Now, a review on the company. Rebel Stork is, from my experience, a really great company. I did reach out to the company and they were willing to give me a full refund because the description was wrong and they, or they were willing to credit my account um, had I decided to keep this. So I think their customer service is great. Their replies prompt and I love the customer service. So if you are looking for some baby gear, you know, consider looking here. Uh, did I have the best experience as far as getting exactly what I paid for? Not necessarily, but God did a wonder and I did get something that I actually would have wanted. So that was just, that was great. If you are looking for some secondhand baby items, this is my honest opinion, I would buy from them again. I've got a link down below. Go ahead and press that link. It gives you $50 off. I, <laughs> I looked around for this referral code. I looked around, I was willing to give somebody a referral, but I couldn't find this referral code from anybody. So I ended up making an account for my husband to refer me to buy from this company so I could get $50 off. That is how generous they are. $50 off a $2,000 purchase. So this went for $279, so it's $280 for this whole contraption right here, which is the complete Stokey Trip Trap high chair. And originally this retails for $380, almost $400. So I got a good $100 off and you can really only get that kind of discount during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So that was amazing. I'm very, 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 very happy about this purchase. The only thing is just that I did not end up liking the tray mechanism. So now I'm gonna go look elsewhere. And the other two high chairs that I'm considering is the Stokey Click and uh, the other Lalo the chair. I will let you know which one I decide on after I do some more research. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this really helps you determine whether or not you wanna buy this high chair for your family, for your child. And um, yeah, that's it.